everyone, my name is Amma and welcome to Steel Roma. So, this is an Aussie game, the best I can put it. There's an evil kangaroo. Now, as an Aussie, I'm not going to be fucking with these kangaroos because kangaroos can beat us to death. Uh, in the arid region regions of Australia, a secret facility called Flowers Gap unleashed a radioactive plant that mutated some animals into horrific designs. Most notorious and deadly of them is the uh, the killer root? Is that what that's meant to say? The font sucks. You have been abducted by a deranged individual who needs your help to restore the signal towers and document the anomalies around the abandoned Wonder Magpie Station. You are trapped in a modified RV facing the unknown terrors of the wasteland. Alright then, so this is a Steam game. I played some of the Itch games from the same developer. Kevin, you can put up the thumbnails on the thing or whatever. So yeah, as soon as we saw this and read the thing, we were just like, I have to play this. The hell is happening? Left click to listen. Oi, Mackenzie. Oh. You there, mate? Don't you dare step out of that RV, mate. If you do, you reckon you'll be the main cause for tonight's dinner. I'll tell you. Here's the plan, mate. Keep an eye out for any sightings around this area and fix them signal towers. We need the authorities to get in touch with so we can put a stop this bloody monster. You know what I'm saying? We need to get rid of this damn beastie. The bush is full of them. Oi! Can you see him explaining something to the person in the RV, love? Jeez, come on. Just give us a rest. Get out, mate. It's a blasting kangaroo. Get out, you ripping mad woman. Sorry about that, mate. Missus just walked in unexpectedly. Right, anyway. <laughs> up front and back of that RV hearing, you're going to spot two monitoring screens and the steering wheels. Yeah, you use those to keep an eye on where you steer in the rig. They're also being modded to have thermal vision too, because it's, it's going to be bloody dark out there. Use those thermals to see if we can spot anything while you're out there. And if there's any of a kind of a ruckus. You got the radio in there as well, mate. To keep you company. Just in case you get bored. I know, fancy the eerie silence all around you. But yeah, sorry mate. The lights don't work out there. Nothing to do about it. That's just chucking a lamp in there for you, just so you got a little bit of light. Gotta warn you though, it gets real curly out there. I'm going to cover all them windows too, you see, because Kyler really ain't keen on folks seeing or getting ah! covering the whole Fuck, that is so loud. Thanks for the resub. I'm trying to listen to this. And radio sitting there, because it's pretty wonky reception out there. I'll leave you to it, all out in your lonesome, so good bloody luck, mate. Right, you can use the on that one. You better put some tea on, love. It's going to be a light one. Okay, I had to turn that up really loud because I could not hear a freaking thing that the guy said. Also, just the fonts need to be better. Holy crap, you can't read shit. The other side, okay. So what am I doing? I'm gonna have the toast. Nope. It says other side. What does it mean by other side? I have no idea what I'm actually doing in this game. There's no signal for this. These are just the videos of outside. And that just says other side. Well, I don't know what that means. Why is that moving like that? What the fuck? Can I go outside? No. So this is all story. Story, the anomalies, the creatures that are out there. I can't touch anything. What the hell did I miss? <laughs> like, there's, there's legit nothing. I, I can only interact with two things, and that's these two cameras, whatever the hell this is, which there's no signal found. I don't know how to fix that. So you're trapped in a modified RV facing the unknown terrors of the wasteland. Do I need to listen to this dude again? This might be a dead end. I don't want it to be. Did it just crash? There we go. Oh, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Nine towers must be activated when you're getting close to a signal tower. The AI mate will give you a buzz and tell you to yank this lever down. That'll fire up the signal tower. Okay, take a squiz from the back end of the RV, mate. If it shows other side, you're going the wrong way. I don't know what that says. What the f- How is someone meant to even see that? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I can move! Oh my god. So I'm guessing once I talked to this guy, all the tutorial disappeared, so I had no idea what I was doing. Alright, so I drive with this thing. This is the signal tower, I'm assuming. No, okay. 
I thought this would be a signal tower, is it not? Signal activation power. I'm assuming this game will get a lot scarier as we get through it. Okay, so I need to jump onto the other side. I'm assuming I need to go this way, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ah, shit. Assuming kind of has some kind of like little path I follow naturally, because I'm just holding W at the moment. That's creepy. Is that in the game? Hi guys. Motion detected. Yep, um, what do I do about that? I'm just gonna drive by. You're a normal ass kangaroo, aren't you? Still, could easily do a lot of damage. Oh, there's another one. Motion detected. I know there's motion detected. Technically, it's not actually moving, but it's... Signal activation power. Yep, the audio for the game is incredibly low. There's, <laughs> there's no options while you're in the game. It says other side, so I need to keep driving with this one, I'm assuming. I think the signs are wrong. <laughs> there we go, turn around, turn around, come on, you can do it. There we go. I see something in the distance. Oh, there's red eyes. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's not a kangaroo. We got this, it's fine. I mean, an RV, what could go wrong? And it's a modified RV. So again, what could go wrong? A dip. Yep. I see that. Okay, so this is the next one. Signal activation found. Yep, I got this. Okay, doggy. Oh yeah, that, that sounds normal. Continuing on, welcome to the Aussie Outback. As you can see, we're not completely covered in spiders and snakes. Maybe killer kangaroos apparently, but ah, uh, it's alright. What's that? Is that a tipped over caravan or something? Jesus Christ, yeah, that... Skippy used to be a television show for my parents' generation. I remember Skippy from an advert that was on TV. Oh, okay, so the UK got it too. See, obviously it was an Australian TV show. <laughs> Skippy the bush kangaroo. Oh, times have changed. Now it's Skippy the killer kangaroo. Motion detected. Yeah, I see that. Are you just peering around the corner? Signal activation yep. Oh, I hear something growling. <sighs> Wild animals. There's a lot of those signs out here. <laughs> so far this game is very chill. Oh, there's a kangaroo sign over there. I feel like it's a bit too late for that anyway. No entry? Then why are we going this way? I feel like the game's not as good as we thought it might have been. As soon as we saw it was like a killer kangaroo, I was like, oh my god, I have to play this. I'm an Aussie. I live like 20 minutes away from kangaroos. I have to play this. Motion detected. Probably shouldn't have the um the thermo on. <laughs> Kinda ruined that jump scare there. Hi Andy. Hello, I can't scratch you at the moment. Oh you Okay. There you go. You get a little scratch. There you go, good girl. Andy, go under the bed. No no, you don't have to go outside. You I, I said go under the bed. Indecisive bitch. <laughs> oh you poor baby. I'm up against killer kangaroos. You don't know what a kangaroo is, do you? No. You're as big as a kangaroo's foot, did you know that? Oh hello. What the fuck is that? That's not Australian. I have no idea what that is. Wait, 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 wait. What? Left lane ends. You said there's no entry or whatever. Why are... Th oh, that's a lot of kangaroo signs. Oh, I can't go that way? I can't see shit anymore. Next signal. Signal activation power. Yep, other side. We're going back. Yep. Oh, another signal already. Motion detected. Excuse me. Signal activation power. right outside. Skippy's getting mad. <laughs> it's just like right at the camera, just <laughs> hello, human. <laughs> Whoa. 
Whoa, okay. I didn't even know there was a lane here. The hell? Motion detected. Oh. Uh, it's just a bunch of kangaroos. Oh, good, because, yeah, I'm not going any further than that. There's a whole pack of kangaroos. They're gonna beat me up like a high school bully. On the side, yeah, no, fair. You fair, I can't, I can't drive it. See, that's what I'm talking about. The spooky kangaroo boy. Wait, are the other kangaroos dead? Did he kill them? Did he eat them or is he just after me? Is it, oh, good, you guys are still alive. Stay alive, guys. Stay alive. Not something that I'm probably gonna be able to do. No entry, no entry. Why is there a fire danger, fire hazard sign? <laughs> Also, how many creepy moments have I missed just because I haven't had the thermo on the whole time? That sounds great. What was that noise? Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, whoopsie. This is a very on-rails game. There's nothing really happening. Light arm detected. I just should probably just keep driving then. I thought I had headlights. May am I in the back of the van? That's probably why I can't see anything. There's the next tower. Oh, I barely even heard the jump scare. Prologues? What? Ah. Ah, interesting. So, so they've got a bunch of backstory and stuff for this game, but the games mainly hold W on these things and then scan each of the towers. It wasn't as fun as I thought it might be, and it wasn't as creepy as it could have been. I mean, half the time you can't see anything, so you use the thermo, and then there are like, there's like one? I saw one jump scare? Like, how many times do they actually see the kangaroo? Maybe once? properly they jumped across the screen. I think there was a couple times where it was in the distance and then it jumped away. But that was about it. There could have been a lot. And there was one time where it did pop up in front of the camera view, which was I think at this point where I get to these, these guys just grazing and um, I look in the other camera and he's just there. The jump scare at the end, like the animation and stuff was good. Like the actual model was terrifying, but it didn't really like, how do I say it? It probably needed to happen at a different time, so you scan the tower, you turn to go back to the computer, and then you basically walk over a spot where it comes at you through the window. That would be better. Like I said, it could have been a lot more interesting. It was kind of a bummer in the end. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say to, for it, to be honest. If you want to check out this game for yourself or Carl Curley and just these other games, there's a link down to this Steam page down below. Check out Kevin because he's awesome. And check out all my other socials, especially Twitch and Twitter because uh, Spooktober. It's a big thing, tons of videos, buttload of giveaways, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, hope you all have a great day or night and I'll see you all in another one. Bye-bye.